さか歯もかき最悪こいつは本物だ<笑> All right, everybody, we are hopping into the 200% showcase here for the newly easy aid Great Ape Turlis. Now, this is just a sub easy A, so the expectations for him aren't super high. I have already filmed a few showcases, or I've used him in a few runs in the, uh, you know, physical Turlis World Tour, and I've been uh, rather, you know, impressed with this guy and, you know, just uh, the numbers he's been able to put up. And, you know, defensively, it seems like he's able to tank a lot of normals in the game, which is really nice. So, like I said, I've been pretty impressed with how this guy has been performing. Now, I hope you guys don't mind. I opened up with the uh, Turles intro, but I didn't actually have this guy on rotation until here on turn three uh, because he was in slot seven. But I don't get to play the Turles intro very often, so I figured that we would just, you know, open up by playing this guy's intro there. You know, it's always, always fun to get that in the video. So we can see here that he is starting out at 373k defense here, basically 374k. Um, we do have the AGL Turles on rotation, who is giving him 5 out of 7 links. The only things that we're missing are Transform and Saiyan Roar, which are important links, but we're not really going to be able to get those active on this team, uh, at least with the setup that I'm running currently. Uh, you know, if we put him in the middle slot, we don't get any extra links or anything here, so that's nice. Um, you know, he's basically, you know, juiced up to what he's going to be at the end of the turn. You know, doesn't, you, you guys get the point. He's getting 40% support from the AGL Turles right here and 30% from the Turles army. This guy gets 120% defense when he super attacks. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and flip over here to some calcs. Uh, we can see that we're right down here. Uh, in this scenario, so uh, slightly off due to rounding, but we can see 373, 951 is where we're at. Uh, post super attack, he is going to be at 822,000 defense here, which is, you know, really good for a sub EZA. I will definitely take that, and then you guys can see 55% calcs. This is where he would be in the exact same scenario as uh, start a turn right here. And then, uh, you know, this is where he would be at the end of the turn. So he's getting 60% from Lynx. He's getting Destroyer of the Universe, which is 15%. Uh, Thirst for Conquest, which is 15%, Big Bad Boss, Big Bad Bosses, which is 25%, and then Prepared for Battle, which is 5%, so that is where we are at on this turn. Uh, you know, we have a couple other scenarios here as well, just depending on the amount of support that we have on rotation or no support at all. Uh, but, you know, you guys can go ahead and take a look at those just to, you know, keep them fresh in your mind as we go throughout the showcase here. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and start going. Uh, now, we are juiced up with a little bit of offensive support from the tur two physical Turlises. Um, you know, they both have their intros active here, so we have an extra 36% attack support just up at all times, so keep that in mind. He shoots out a 9.5 million attack stat here. Now, he could have done two more, one from his passive and then one from the hidden potential system, which I do think is pretty good, so... Um, I don't know how much, like, footage we're actually going to get of, uh, of Turles in this video, so I, I, you know, I don't really know how long it's gonna be. We're just gonna, you know, go throughout this. Uh, the GT Legendary Goku event isn't really a tough fight anymore, but I wanted to hop into this fight just so that we could get, you know, physical Turles' support activated for the showcase, uh, just to kind of get this guy in his max potential, you know, like a max setup here for him, so. Uh, I'm sure there's some unit that I forgot to bring on the team that could have brought out, you know, maybe more of his, you know, hit latent power or whatever you want to call it, but uh, I think this is a pretty good setup for showing off, uh, you know, Great Ape Turles here, and then we can also just get some more footage in of physical Turles on the channel, you know, gets his super attacks on, uh, on display here. <laughs> Uh, you know, Turles, if you want to show out a little bit for us, you know, that'd be okay, but, you know, he, he's having stage fright, it's okay, it's not, it's not his video. Uh, Bojack is supporting, Chilai is supporting, the Great Ape Turles is supporting. I'm planning on running this guy, you know, next to the AGL Turles for this little run here, uh, you know, just get some footage of him, so we'll, we'll see how he does. Lost a little bit of HP there. Oh, we actually get the AGL Turles transformation, so if this happens, uh, he no longer supports with, um, stats, but he does still give key, and his link set doesn't change, so it's not really a huge deal here. Um, I could let him get some stacks in, but, you know, let's just, uh, you know, it, it's, it is this guy's showcase right here, so let's just get some more, well, yeah, we gotta get more footage of this guy, right, it is his showcase here. So on this turn, he's at 345.676, and again, he gets 120% on super attack, so you just multiply whatever you see start a turn by 2.2. 
So we take 345, 676, multiply by 2.2. He's going to be at about 760k defense here post super attack, uh, which is pretty good. You know, we are running him next to the AGL Turles, but the AGL Turles has the exact same link set as the physical Turles. I'm just leaving him on rotation because, you know, normally he gives support. <laughs> so he shoots out an 8.1 million attack stat. Again, he can do three of those. Uh, we just unfortunately have him on the off rotation here, and the physical Turleses are kind of failing us and not... Uh, getting their additionals, so I could pop their active skills just to kind of make sure that we actually, you know, finish this phase off, but I kind of want to save those for if we actually need them later to finish off a later phase, so we're not going to do that. Anyway, I will cut here and come back whenever we have AGL Turles on rotation again, get another look at them, so uh, be right back. All right, here we go. We have another pretty good rotation for Turles again. Uh, we can just, you know, throw him right here in slot one. Normally, this is not really a character that you want to throw in slot one, but this event really isn't... It, it, this GT Legendary Goku event doesn't really hold up super well uh, for some of these new really powerful characters like, you know, Turles and this guy. Um, and really even this guy right here, if you can get a couple stacks in for him. Now, Bojack, we might have to worry about a little bit, like the Great Ape, or like the, the Team Turles army, we might have to worry about, but, like, a guy like this, type advantage, 330k defense here, you know, there's not much we have to actually worry about worry about in this situation so he is currently at 337 468 again he gets 120 percent on super attack so you just multiply by 2.2 so he's going to be at about 342k defense here post super attack and that's uh, only with 30 percent support from bojack so that that is pretty good uh, we can go ahead and grab this here. You know, this Turles and, like, every Turles unit and every villain unit in the game, they generate most of their power from their, you know, villain-specific links. Uh, you know, every villain, for the most part, except for, like, maybe Janimba, have, like, just... How, how do I call it? Like... Oh, there's his additional, by the way. You know, maybe we could actually get a triple super on this turn, and he just one turns this great ape, uh, <laughs> this great ape Goku here. At one point, this is a really tough boss. You know, like this used to be the gatekeeper for this event. Everybody used to get here, and then he just wipes you off the page. But uh, not so much anymore. What was I saying before that? <laughs> I, I was saying a thought, and then it, and then I got distracted. I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, oh goodness, no. Uh, let me see if I can remember. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I couldn't remember, and we just one-turned uh, Goku right here, so. Um, I, I cannot remember what thought I was having, but, man, my, my boomer brain. I think I might have been saying, like, um, Turles, the only defense that he gets is from his passive. He gets 120% when he is nine or more. That is the only, like, multiplicative buff that he has in his passive. So if you're worried about calculating this guy's defense on your own, just know that what you see start a turn, multiply it by 2.2. That's all you have to worry about for this guy. There, there isn't any extra, like, additional things that you have to do. Just look at what you get start a turn, multiply by 2.2, and that is where his defense is, and that is all you have to worry about, so... Um, as far as we wanted, what we want to do here, I, I don't really know, <laughs> um, I don't really want to put him in slot one, that's just, like, asking for death, I guess we can put AGL Turles there, um, he would take damage, but, I mean, uh, we'll, we'll see, hopefully we just don't get supered immediately, if we can get a super attack off, we'll be fine, but, uh, let, let, let's see what happens here, you know, again, hopefully AGL Tur Turles doesn't get supered immediately, but, uh, you know, you never know in this event. All right, we got a super attack off, so that is that is nice. Very good. Okay, he is supering us. I don't think this will kill us. This uh this GT Goku still can hit pretty hard for units, you know, who just have like raw defense. Yeah, it did 446k, but we can handle it. So here he is again at a 9.52 million attack stat. Again, he can do three of these. So yeah, there's the second one at 10 million, and then he could do one more from the hidden potential system. He does not. Okay, that's fine though. Very nice, and then he's at double digits, of course, you know, he wasn't going to take damage in this event. <laughs> well, we blew through this event pretty quickly, so let's go ahead and take him up against another event where we don't have the physical Turles' intro buff up. We might get one more turn out of this event, uh, we'll see, but, you know, in the event that we don't, let's hop into a different event where we do not have Turles', uh, you know, intro buff up and see how he does there. 
All right, we're hopping into the GT Red Zone. This is the Super 17 stage. Now, I figured that this would be a tough stage, but, uh, you know, one fair enough that I could bring some of this lower, like, some of these lower level characters in here, like maybe the Great Ape Turles. I'll have to hide them a little bit, but as long as they're not taking a super attack, I think that we can get away with running them in here, but we'll, we'll see. You know, that's always, like, famous last words, right, as you say something like that, and then you just get clobbered. Um, I think I do want to leave them on rotation here. I don't want to float them off too early and then get them on a rotation like really early on in the Super 17 fight. Now, unfortunately, these guys are supering like immediately and Turles needs to do a few attacks to build up. Luckily, these guys are pretty old at this point and the like they were a tough boss whenever they first released. But, you know, Turles is a good character. At the end of the day, this uh, this physical Turles is not like a slouch. He, he is actually kind of a player. I would probably put him in my top 10 TURs. Now, he is going to be in, like, that middling 6 to 10 range, probably. Uh, but one thing I do like about him, and one thing that I like about all units, is that Turles is consistent. Uh, I will give him that, you know. If, you, if you're a very consistent character, and I know what I'm going to get out of you whenever I use you, it, it really shoots you up in my rankings, or, it, you know, at least makes me think about you more favorably you know for the longest time i've never really liked a character like yamcha because yamcha is very inconsistent um even though he is probably a really good character and i have underrated him in the past probably um i just don't like him because he's very inconsistent now you might say something like that and say well why do you like god goku it's well god goku's dodge is consistent like that's that, that's why i like god goku it's very standard conditions i've never really struggled to get him his orbs or anything like that um, whereas a character like Yamcha, his dodge chance is based on how many additionals he's doing. So, you know, there's just that little extra level of, you know, variability going on. But regardless, um, I, I do think Turles is a very consistent character, and I do like that about characters. That, that, that really does... Because it, it's like I, I know what I'm going to get out of you, and I have my expectations set accordingly. Whereas a character will say, like, Super Trunks, for example. I haven't actually used Super Trunks yet, but it's like, okay, my expectations for you are just, like, all over the place. It's like, if I can baby you enough to get you into your Super trunk state, then, um, you know, I, then I know that I have, a, like, a real killer on my hands. But whenever I don't know what I'm, like, are you guarding, are you not guarding, you know, the, things like that, it just... To me, Super Trunks is a character in my mind that I'm going to hate before he even comes out. So, it, not to get into that, it's a great Ape Turla showcase. What I expect out of this guy, if he can tank normals, that is all I'm asking of a sub EZA. If he can take most normals from a lot of these bosses, I mean, that, that's good enough for me. Like, honestly, he, he's perfect if he's doing that. So, we're going to keep the physical Turles on rotation here just because he's going to be a little bit better you know, defensively, so we're going to float off the AGL turtle. It's not going to be a huge deal, but just something that, you know, it's like we're not going to have that little bit of extra support, um, but it's just attack support. Since we're not going up against a super class enemy, AGL turtle does not give his extra 40% defense support. So you can see here his attack stats are down a little bit. They're down at 7.59, but remember, he still can triple attack and triple super attack. We're not getting very good luck with the with the uh, hidden, pot hidden potential additional. Um, I do have this guy on a full offensive build, because it's just like the original build I gave him whenever I rainbowed him years ago, so. Um, Alright, we're up against Super 17, and I think I need to do... Uh, I don't think Turles could survive a super attack from this guy, so I'm going to do this, unfortunately. I would love to float off a Mond and Raisin and get them uh, next to, you know, uh, next to this guy for the support, but... It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. I would like to be able to put this guy in slot 1. This guy is level 10 links, which is nice, but... Uh, you know, type disadvantage. I, I don't want to throw him to the wolves with, you know... What does he have? Only 30... Like, no, he probably only has like 5 or 10% damage reduction here or something. If, you know, yeah. Because I don't remember how many additionals he got. Maybe 10. If Super 17 doesn't super immediately, we... Okay, yeah, we probably could have gotten away with putting him in slot 1 here, but... Uh, again, you know, it's just, it's one of those risky plays, I didn't want to do that. If this guy was fully built up, had his full, like, 1 million defense with 20% damage reduction, I'd probably feel more comfortable putting him in slot 1, and now it looks like I've just put him in front of the super anyway. Luckily, we have a lot of support on this rotation, like, what, 80% support on this rotation or something? Hopefully, he can give us a couple super attacks here, and that will, uh, that'll really help us out. You know, this guy, I really wish this guy right here, this LR Turles, said EZA during this celebration. I, I know it's early, people would be like, oh, save it for later. It's like, ah, no, guys, come on, we, we, we really could have done, you know, do we really need Gohan and Goten's EZA? Like, we, we could have gotten that Great Ape Turles, or like that LR Turles' EZA. 
that, that would have really, I think, rounded this team out a lot. Just as simple as giving him, like, I don't know, 50% defense on 18 key and 30% defense on 12 key for one turn. I think could have, like, really helped that guy. It made him, like, a viable option to run on some of these teams. Because, like, right now, he's only getting stun chances on his super attack effect, which was dumb whenever it came out. Uh, no super attack on this rotation. Okay, so we can just keep uh, my tier list in slot one right here. It's not really going to be a huge deal. We can keep this guy in slot two, so that, that'll work out just fine for us. Or we could even do this if we wanted to, but I, I don't really want to put that into Chi Lai's hands, so we'll just do this instead. Uh, we'll just grab these orbs. It doesn't really matter. Turles is actually auto-supering right here. Um, as long as you get him to nine key, then he's going to auto-super because he gets three key at nine key. <laughs> so, you know, he, he's basically auto-supering, you know, pretty pretty quickly on, depending on the team build that you're running in, which is good. Okay, so yeah, my Turles is at an 8.27. Another thing that we have to talk about with this Great Ape Turles is that, you know, he is viable in a lot of these new stages. You know, he's not going to be super great for, like, the Zamasu Red Zone, of course. Um, but for a lot of these other stages in the game right now, he is viable, um, you know, as long as it doesn't have an AoE boss. And, I mean, if we're talking about a sub-EZA here, I feel like that's all I can really ask for is that he's, you know, viable, tanking normals. I don't... This type of character right here, this, like, really old unit who gets a sub-EZA for free, like, you... you Like, many people can have this character rainbowed without having to spend, like, any, like, money on the game, right? Like, you can very easily get this guy just over time have him grind it up in your box, and then you go do his sub-EZA for free, you get him awakened, and you have this character that can go into the toughest, you know, fights in the game and tank normals. I do think that it, that is really valuable, and it's, uh, you know, something that's, you know, like, bonus points for him. So, I, I don't really hold him to, like, the highest standards of, like, oh, this guy needs to be tanking super attacks from every boss in the game. It's like, no. But if he's taking normals, like, relatively well from all of them, I think that that's stupendous. So, I, I, I'm pretty impressed with this guy's performance. Plus, he can do quite a bit of damage. And then he does have the Great Ape, you know, because he is a you know, Great Ape character. Um, now, the act, the condition here is he just has, like, a chance of turning into a giant ape. I think that's, like, a 10% chance is what it is. I don't remember exactly what it is. But if you do happen to get that out in a fight, I mean, it could end up being the thing that, you know... Um, it could be the deciding factor whether or not you win a fight. If you're able to go into that giant form, eat up some of these boss special abilities, like super attacks, heals. Did he just dodge me? I didn't know Super 17 could dodge. <laughs> um, but, you know, it can eat up some of those boss spe special abilities, and that could really be the deciding factor on whether or not you win or lose. So I, I do like this Great Ape Turles. I think he's a great sub-EZA. Be sure to get him grinded up. The way you obtain him is from the AGL Turles EZA. You have to go replay the stages. If you haven't beaten the event, you know, be sure to grind it up to level 30, get your medals for the AGL Turles, but then go farm it again. I mean, I guess you don't technically have to, but then if you ever get AGL Turles in the future and you want to EZA him, then you won't have enough medals. Like, hypothetically, if you've just... Like, because I know there's people out there who are like, oh, I don't even have this character, I'm not going to do their EZA. So, like, if you're like that and you just have his EZA sitting at, you know, level 1 because you've never done the EZA, be sure to go grind it up, and then what you need to do is you need to obtain those same medals again. Or, if you've already, you know, played the EZA, you've got it at stage 30, whatever, what you need to do is go play stage 10. Stage 10 will drop the bronze medals, you need 12 of those. You need to play stage 20, that'll drop silver medals, you need to play that until you have 20 of those. And then you need to play level 25, that will drop the gold medals, you need 12 of those. And then you need to do stage 30, and uh, get 12 of those as well. So, uh, you, it's, it's only going to take a few plays. I think stage 10, for the bronze medals, it drops two at a time, so I think you have to play that like six times. I think stage 20, I believe it drops four, so you'll need to play that five times, I believe. I think it's 20, yeah, so I think you need to play that five times. And then the stages 25 and 30, those also drop four medals. So you'll need to play those three times each. So what is that? That's six. Um, six, five is 11. Three is 14, 17. So you need to play, replay like the EZA stages a total of 17 times, uh, which really isn't too bad to get a character you know of this caliber. So we'll, we'll definitely take that. I guess we'll leave the friend in slot one right here since they have a higher defense. So we'll go ahead and do that. We could use the, you know, Great Ape Active Skill, but it, it, again, it's AGL Turles' showcase here, so we'll just do this. Unfortunately, you know, we can't actually do damage to this guy uh, with the Great Ape Turles because he does do a Key Blast super attack. Uh, this might do some damage to us, but I don't think it'll KO us. 
327, yeah, but that, that's not too bad. And then Turles is going to heal some of that up for us. You know, having two Turleses on this rotation is pretty nice. And again, the AGL Turles is giving this guy like 60% defense in links, which is just absolutely incredible. And then like even more in attack, right? So, you know, just what he does for the physical Turles can't be understated as well. He makes him a very powerful and a very viable option. You know, it's like uh, these Turles characters. Oh, that's was that what I was going to say like 30 minutes ago in the showcase was um these like villain characters they eat off of each other's links you know cell characters really only want to link with cell characters turless characters want to link with turless characters um that's what i was saying wasn't it is that <laughs> this turless activates the other turless links uh specifically destroyer of the universe that's the important link that these guys have you know you think about the bojack units they have the hera clan you think about the the cell units the cell units they have like ultimate life form um, the Wicked Bloodline characters have, like, Strongest Clan in Space, or, um, uh, what is it, Universe's Most Malevolent, right? Like, they have, they have these specific villain links that every villain has that you want to get them around themselves so that you have those activated. And unfortunately, is that there's not many, like, differently named villains, so trying to find, like, a perfect linking partner for these guys is kind of tough. So, Having a character like this Great Ape Turles who's sharing, what is it, 5 out of 7 links with your new Dokkan Fest LR, and he's activating those important links for you, and he can tank normals in the game, I think that that's really valuable, and I really think that this Great Ape Turles is a great addition and a great release next to this Physical Turles. You know, maybe Physical Turles could have been better, for sure. You know, I think they could have given him more damage reduction, maybe at least up to 40% or 50%, and then he would have been perfect. Um, you know, personally, if I was designing him, I, I think really you bump his damage reduction up to like 50%, and I think he shoots way up, like maybe to number four in my tier list, but you know, 20% is just not enough to cover it. But if he had like 40 or 50% damage reduction, I'd be really happy with him. And um, you, they really did try to at least give Turles help, you know, at the end of the day. They gave him a Mond and Raisin, they gave him this great ape Turles, uh, which, which is more than what they've given a lot of other Dokkan Fest uh, this year, so. We, I, I'm really happy with this Turles, at least in the help that he's gotten. I do wish he was better, but it is nice that they gave us a character like this Great Ape Turles who's able to come into these events, do his thing, and uh, really make it work for this guy. So, you know, somebody at Akatsuki sometimes is thinking, you know, uh, about these guys. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about the Great Ape Turles. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go ahead and move into the breakdown. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Great Ape Turles. Uh, you know, I, my explanation for how to easy aim probably wasn't very good. We're going to go over that again here in just a second. Uh, stay tuned for the breakdown. I'll catch you guys next time, though, if you do not. Alright, this is Swirling Ambition, Turles Giant Ape. His leader skill is all types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense 80%. His super attack is the Kill Driver Extreme, you know, because he easy A's right here. Uh, it greatly raises attack for one turn, which is a 50% raise. Causes supreme damage to the enemy with a high chance to stun. That is good for, like, Super Battle Road. Uh, this guy does have some Super Battle Road stages that you can use him in. So if you haven't, you know, cleared maybe, like, the Giant Ape stage, the Pure Saiyan stage, things like that, you can bring him in here, and he's going to be pretty good. You know, he's got this 50% chance to stun. That is probably the most powerful thing that you can do in Super Battle Road because it not only protects your unit, but all the units on, like, the next rotation as well. So, you know, like, dodge is normally, like, the most powerful mechanic in the game, and while dodge is still really good for Super Battle Road, the stun chance is actually probably better because it protects not only that unit, but all of the other units on your team as well. So, that you know, that is good. There are some red zone stages that can be stunned as well, so, I mean, you know, that, that's, that's still a good ability to have. I wish he had defense here. But he is still pretty decent for a sub-easy A, so I can't complain too much. His passive skill is Low Class Elite. He gets attack and defense 120% at the start of turn. He gets key plus 3 and attack and defense 120% when key is 9 or more. This is a multiplicative buff. It activates on super attacks. So the way you calculate his defense is you take whatever you see start a turn and you multiply by 2.2. That's what his defense is post super attack. He gets an additional defense plus 120% when there are five or more Space Traveling Warrior category allies on the team. Um, space Traveling Warriors is a category that sees relatively recent buffs. Unfortunately, there are a few, like, egregious omissions from this category, such as Golden Frieza and Metal Cooler. For some reason, Dokkan decided that they're not on the category. That's not to say they won't be added in the future, but uh, trying to bet on that is is a fool's gamble. So you know, don't don't bet on them ever adding those characters to this category. They might they might not. You know, just consider it that it won't ever happen. But you know, it, it's not like impossible, but it's very highly improbable. 
<laughs> um, he launches an additional attack. There's a high chance of becoming a super attack when there is another planetary destruction category ally attacking in the same turn or a low class warrior category enemy. Uh, this is good. You know, it gives him the additional stun chance for like super battle road and just any extra damage that you can get is pretty nice. Um, planetary destruction category ally is not going to be too tough. Considering if you're using this guy, you're probably using him next to a Turlus. That's kind of his intended use is to be a link battery for these, you know, other Turlus units. Since uh, villain units generally have like very similar link sets, right? They have like, uh, you know, Turlus has tr Destroyer of the Universe, you know, cells have the cell links, things like that, right? So that that's kind of this guy's intended role is to just be a link battery for these other Turlus units. Um, as he does provide them 60% defense support down here from these links. Uh, also, he turns into a giant ape when conditions are met. I believe that is a 10% chance. If it is not, someone please correct me in the comments if I am wrong. Uh, transformation condition has a chance of turning into a great ape up to two times. Um, this is nice. This is this is a powerful ability. You guys know that giant ape, giant ape transformations essentially lock the turn to the turn that you're on, and it makes it so that... Uh, the You know, if the enemy burns up any of their special charges, like super attacks, healing, AoEs, things like that, if they burn those charges while you're in the grade 8 mode, then they can't do them whenever you get out of it. So that is a very powerful ability that, you know, we do need to consider when evaluating these characters. Unfortunately, his giant ape is very inconsistent. You don't know when it's going to happen. Um, but yeah, he, he does have one. He just gets key 3 and 50% attack. Nothing too crazy there. His link skills are destroy Destroyer of the Universe, Prepared for Battle, Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses, Transform, Sand War, and Fierce Battle. Notice how, like, every single one of these links is giving him defense. Make sure you are link leveling this guy if you're going to use him. Uh, these are his categories, you know, pretty, pretty decent. We can go ahead and take a look at his 200% leaders. Um, you know, unfortunately, he doesn't have great 200% leaders right now. Raditz has always sucked. Turles is okay, uh, but he needs, like, more help. Like, we need some more space-traveling warrior buffs uh, to really, like, help him out. And really, he himself is just not quite strong enough, you know. If he had, like, 50% damage reduction, I'd be a lot happier with him. But, you know, the 20% just doesn't quite get it done. And then, uh, Ginyu is still good, but unfortunately, the <laughs> unfortunately the future red zone kind of uh, did him in a little bit there. So, that that is unfortunate to see. These are his best linking partners down here, just a bunch of other Turlus units. You can see, like, Majunior and uh, this guy down here because they also share, like, Transform and, like, Giant for What is it? Transform they share with him. So, you know, they share, what is it? Fierce Battle, Legendary Power... Or Fierce Battle, uh, Transform, Big Bad Bosses, and Thirst for Conquest is what they're sharing. And then pretty much all these other characters are just, like, Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses characters. That's what you see here. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Great Ape Turles. Again, to farm him up, you need these medals right down here. Uh, you can see him on your screen. He needs 12 total bronze, 20 silver, 12 gold, and 12 rainbow. You farm up the bronze from stage 10 of the AGL Turles EZA. Again, you need 12 medals from stage 10. If you collect the, if you select the, or if you click the select level button next to the EZA, you can select stage 10, farm these up, uh, and then you can go to stage 20, and that's where you can farm up the silver medals. You can farm up the gold on stage 25, and stage 30 will allow you to farm up the rainbow medals. So be sure you do that. Get this guy easy aid. He's a great addition to your box. He's going to help you out in Super Battle Road, Battlefield. Um, if you have the new Turles, great. He can help you out there. Who knows? You might need this guy for a mission later on, you know, maybe for like an easy A area um, or just like one of these category missions. You never know. They do love to drop category missions. If they ever drop like a category mission, you know, go beat. I don't know, go beat, like, the Metal Cooler Core with Giant Form. You're going to want to have this guy ready to go. So let me know what you guys think about AGL Great Ape Turles. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'm going to catch you guys next time.